Hi, it's me again with Corona Tips and Tricks. I stated in one of the videos, if you can kind of tell this is a bitmap because it's a little bit fuzzy. And I stated in one of the videos on this uh, idea that you could do it without the distort tool. So what you want to do is take your item and make a duplicate of it. And then let's draw a six by six square. And then let's change our nudge factor with nothing selected to six inches. Now let's take this item and grab it right in the center and have it snap to that node. And you could, I could actually make it a smaller box, but I'm going to hit the plus key and move it over, plus key and move it down, plus key, and I'm just using my arrow keys. Now let's take our box and move it out of the way and select these four items and go up to object and group and group them together and then to put our box back. And then, so this is a vector. It's good and clean, sharp line. Now we can select everything and go right here to intersect. And what that did, that intersected those items. We'll just move this out of the way. And like I said, I could have used a smaller box and have been closer. So I'm going to go here and put P and put that in the center of the page. So we have a six by six box. I still think we need to make it 5.99 nudge now, just so it overlap that gap. Let me move this over and I'm going to hit the plus key and move it over and then control D, control D, control D. Then I'm going to grab all that and hit the plus key and then go control D, control D. So you created the exact same thing. It's a little, you know what? I don't like that. Let's take uh, that so we can tell the difference. Let's make this, let's put this back in the center of the page. And let's go intersect again. And then let's move this up. I'm nudging, nudge this down, then hit P and then hit P again. But that's the exact same thing size, so you're not gonna be able to tell any difference. So let's grab that center one, holding down the shift key and making it larger. Don't really want them touching. Now group this together, control G. Our nudge factor is still set on 5.9. Let's move it over. Control D and move it over. It's really, almost the same, but you do see the smaller flowers and the larger flowers. Let's do it one more, one more better. Let's back up here where we didn't have it intersected. And let's take our, take our box and let's nudge it over. Let's make it a four inch box. Now we'll have to do the same thing. Let's put this, I've got to ungroup these. Let's put that one. using the X. You know what? That might be too small. Plus key. We need to change it to four inches. Nudge that over. Then you could actually grab both these, make a duplicate and nudge these over. And now when you intersect something like this, the box has to be on top. You've got to be able to see the box. So we're going to grab the box, go up to object, order, front of page, and then let's intersect this. Well, I must not have grabbed the whole box. I must not have grabbed all the flowers. Oh, I didn't group them together. So let's nudge that out of the way. And let's control G to group those together. You know what? Let's just hit P and P and then intersect this and you get that. Delete that. Let's hit P, put that in the center of the page. Now we can make this, you know, and you don't have to just use one single flower. You could use, um, you know, you could change the flower, uh, Quite possibly you could, let's try two flowers. Let's put one there 
and one here, kind of offset them. Now group this together, control G. We've got a four inch box, so we're gonna make our nudge factor 3.99. And if you don't know what we're doing there, so there won't be a line between them, this is gonna be pretty cool. So I'm just controlling D and then select it all, control D, move it down. Completely different look. And you can do almost anything with that. Now, why aren't they right there? Tell you what, let's delete that. Let's back up. I don't know why the flowers aren't there. Oh, okay. Let's move that back. Let's just kind of start over. So that somehow they're grouped together. I must have really messed that up. Let's put that there. Put that like offset. And let's just throw another uh, curve into it. Of course, you'd want it to look good. Let's put it there. And then control G, G to group. Control D to duplicate and move it over. And you could change some things in there. Uh, like make this one and flip it and then you could get both of them and do that you'd have alternating alternating dots and you could actually even flip that and then grab all that hit plus one more whoop and it looks funny because the uh pick tool has made those highlighted so almost anything's possible. And the good thing with this, this is a clean vector file where the previous one with the distort tool is a bitmap and you can just see the fuzziness, which would probably work in print. So this is more like an endless pattern with a little bit of twist to it. Anyway, hope that helped a little bit. Thank you for watching.